Coastal communities grappling with rising sea levels caused by global warming in Marin County. That has touched off a fight over what do what to do about homes that are now at risk. KPI X5's Kenny Choi shows us there are no easy options. Sea level rise is threatening homes and infrastructure near Stinson Beach. The State Coastal Commission has ultimate permit authority here and wants to stop the building of seawalls and let nature take its course. Residents and the county are pushing back. We assume there'll be a fire. We assume there'll be an earthquake and we plan for that. But really, how much is the ocean going to go up? As president of the association that represents Stinson Beach homeowners, Mike Matthews is all too familiar with the threat of sea level rise. It first took center stage six years ago when property owners in low-lying neighborhoods known as the Calles and the Patios got a letter from the county warning that sea level rise would be affecting their ability to obtain permits for improvements to their properties. Lots of people delighted with their beach house and their one and a half minute walk to the beach, all of a sudden discovered that you wouldn't be able to get a permit <laughs> for anything. Any structure within 1,000 feet of the shoreline referred to as the coastal zone could potentially be affected. That equates to can't sell your house and that equates to loss of the value of it. So there was an extreme reaction. Turns out the county was getting pressure from the Coastal Commission to update its local coastal plan and the commission was proposing something referred to as managed retreat. Essentially that means abandoning or relocating all structures in the coastal zone. In this case the entire town rather than protecting it. If you're saying well we're going to move these homes. Well, where are you going to move them to? Jack Leibster is Marin County's point man on sea level rise. These are pretty expensive areas and where are you going to get the money to do that is, is a big question. He says managed retreat could also prevent plans to elevate or armor a low-lying section of Highway 1 near Stinson Beach. Highway 1 is iconic for the state of California and to have a chunk missing out of uh, out of the middle of the, the, the highway would not be very good. Finally, in 2018, the county officially proposed a more moderate sea level rise plan. The Coastal Commission sent it back with changes the county refused to accept. Leafster says discussions came to a grinding halt until now. This year, he says the county is back at the table really with some new ideas. On, One of the things that we're looking at, employing what are called nature-based um, alternatives. Among them, using dredging material from the bottom of the bay to raise wetland levels, a project already underway in the Canal District of San Rafael. At Stinson Beach, the plan is to create a dune system by importing more sand and planting beach grass on it. It's something that has worked well at Lawson's Landing, a popular campground that sits at the entrance to Tamales Bay. So the Lawson family is definitely uh, friends of the European beach grass. The beach here has actually grown bigger over the years. But Willie Volger, who runs the camp and grew up here, knows things can change. So managed retreat might become a necessity. The beach is a moving, living thing. And, uh, you know, we're hoping that uh, it can grow along with us and, and the water and, and we can stay here. But uh, if things don't work that way, uh, we do have more property that continues on up the hill. Back in Stinson Beach, the exclusive gated community of Sea Drift has been forward thinking. When it was still possible, they got permission to install a very expensive rock wall along the edge of the Sea Drift properties on the ocean side. Multi million dollar homes in Sea Drift are built on raised foundations, but the less affluent calles and the patios in the lowlands remain vulnerable and soon may be unable to protect themselves. I wouldn't want a house down there right now. Mike Matthews hopes this time around, discussions with the state on a local coastal plan will involve more compromise, with a focus on a shorter 20 years instead of the Coastal Commission's proposed 100 year plan. It is true you have to look for the worst case events in planning. But you want to have some sense that they're actually going to happen. Let's see what actually does happen and then manage it. The Coastal Commission turned down our request for an interview for this story, but two years ago, when we visited the same topic in Pacifica, their top expert told us that there is no more time for compromise. At Stinson Beach, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5.
couple of final stats on this. By the year 2100, the U.S. Geological Survey predicts the ocean could rise as much as seven feet. That would put some 600,000 homes here in California at risk.